Let's make it rainbow, Roy Spadoys. Mommy, can Maker come over to play? Sure. Hey, Maker, I have a new toy. Want to come over and play? Not today, Roy Spadoys. I'm making a real rainbow. Do you want to come over instead? What? A real rainbow? Hmm. Wow! A real rainbow? Yeah, I'll come to help out. I'll need crayons so I can draw a rainbow in the sky. Mommy, can I go play with Maker? We're going to make a real rainbow, and I'll try to bring it home for you. Sure. I don't know. How can he bring home a real rainbow? I brought crayons to help you draw the rainbow. <laughs> you can't draw a real rainbow with crayons, Roy Spadoys. All we need is a garden hose with different spray settings and set it to mist. Walk around until you see the rainbow. Oh, I see it, I see it. That is so cool. Wow, the rainbow is beautiful. Don't move, Maker. I want to draw a rainbow for my mom. Hurry, uh, I'm getting tired. Aw, I'm not done. Why did you turn the water off and make the rainbow go away? I got tired, but you can remember the colors of the rainbow with this acronym, Roy G. Biv. That sounds like my name, Roy Spadois. Roy G. Biv stands for red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So every letter from Roy G. Biv stands for a color of the rainbow. I did it! I drew the rainbow using Roy G. Biv! Bye, Maker. I'm going to give this picture to my mom. Mommy, I have something for you. Aw, I love you too, Roy Spadoys. Let's see what Roy Spadoys wrote on the picture. I love you, Mommy. You can keep this rainbow. It never goes away. Aw, that is so sweet of Roy Spadoys. The end. Too much drama, Roy Spadoys. Reading time. Hey, I was going to read that book. Let me have it or I won't be your friend anymore. Oh no, Roy Spadoys. She had it first. You should wait for your turn. But, um, but, all right, fine. I love this book. It's so funny. <laughs> Can I have your cookie? If you don't give it to me, I won't be your friend anymore. Again, Roy Spadoys? That's not nice. But I already bit it. I still want it. Oh, fine. Oh no, she's being too nice. That is not okay, Roy Spadoys. You shouldn't do that. Mmm, it's so delicious. Yum, 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 yum. Let's pick teams. You can pick first, Maker. Pick me, Maker. If you don't pick me, I won't be your friend anymore. Oh my goodness, Roy Spadoys. You are too much. You keep threatening them. But that's not fair. Fine, I'll pick Roy Spadoys to be on my team. We win! Ooh, the girls beat the boys. The boys don't look too happy. Arr! Maker, don't play with Truly and Wen anymore or I won't be your friend. Fine. Maker, I told you not to play with them. Do you want me to stop being your friend? Oh my, I guess he saw Maker playing with them. Stop threatening to not be my friend. Just because you don't want to play with them doesn't mean I can't. That's right, Roy Spadoys. You should not get Maker involved in your problem. Then who am I going to play with? Roy Spadoys, make a smart choice. Oh, he's thinking. What should he do? You're right. You can be friends with anyone you want. Do you still want to be my friend? Good choice, Roy Spadoys. Of course, I still want to be your friend. How nice, Maker forgave him. You can still be our friend, Roy Spadoys. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Aw, they're all nice. 
Well, good job, Roy Spadoys. No more drama for you. The end. Roy Spadoys and the Three Little Pigs. Welcome to our classroom play. The Three Little Pigs. Why are you building a brick house, Piggy Win? Hi, Piggy Maker and Piggy Truly. I'm building a brick house to protect myself from the big bad wolf. I heard he's mean and he can gobble you up in one mouthful. Well, all you need is a steak or straw house like ours. We're all done and we get to play in the mud now. If you want the best result, you have to do your best. And a brick house is the best. There we go, all done. I'm hungry and I want a hamburger. Oh, I see three little piggies. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. It's the big bad wolf and he's coming to eat us. Run to your homes. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. I just want to look inside your house. No, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your straw house in. Ah! Hurry and come inside so I can close the door. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. I need to use your bathroom. No, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your stick house in. Then I'll fart inside it. Ah! Hurry and come inside so I can close the door. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. I just want to play with you. Maybe he really wants to play with us. Let's open the door. No, don't trust him. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your brick house in. <laughs> my brick house is too strong to blow down. Take that, big bad wolf. Oh yeah, then I'll go down the chimney. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. <laughs> Big bad wolf, run away! The end. Remember to always do your best! The end. Don't give up, Roy Spadoys! Mommy, I'm bored. Lois won't play with me. Well, you should pick up a hobby like drawing, karate, or other activities to keep you busy. Hobbies? Hmm, that sounds like fun. I love karate. Truly goes to karate, so I want to go too. Welcome to karate class, Roy Spadoys. First, do some jogging to warm up. <sighs> I'm tired. I'm uh, out of breath. Now, do some jumping jacks. I can't do anymore. My legs are tired. Now, practice kicking. Oh, I can't do this. Oh no, Roy Spadoys. Hiya! 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 Oh no, Roy Spadoys. It looks like he feels defeated. Daddy, I don't want to do karate anymore. It's too hard. I get tired fast and I can't kick well. I give up. Oh no, Roy Spadoys, you shouldn't give up. Son, nobody is born good at anything. Everybody has to learn and practice to be good at something. The more you practice, the better you get, you know. Even for Truly, she's really good at karate. Even for Truly, she's been practicing for months. Royce Badois make a smart choice. Ooh, I wonder what he's thinking. Okay, I'll keep practicing. Good job, Roy Spadoys. Kick the bag, Roy Spadoys! Ow! Oh no, he fell. You almost got it! Wow, that's so nice that his friend is cheering him on. 
You did it! You did it, Royce Bedoys! Wow! Royce Bedoys really persevered. He kept trying until he kicked the punching bag. Good job, Royce Bedoys! How did you improve so quickly? I just practice a lot. Good job, Royce Bedoys! Never give up. The end. Let's go on a road trip, Royce Bedoys! Honey, can you please put this heavy luggage in the car? We're going to be late for Dinosaur Theme Park. Road trip! Road trip! Woohoo! Road trip sounds fun. Okay, everybody, we'll be there in six hours. Wow, six hours? That is super duper long. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Not yet, Royce Bedoys. Oh no, Royce Bedoys is getting a little bit impatient. Oh no, I forgot my dinosaur toy. Can we go home to get it? Pretty please, please, please. We can't turn back, Royce Bedoys. We're too far from home. Oh. oh no, this is not good for Royce Bedoys. Are we there yet? I'm getting hungry and my stomach is grumbling. Not yet, but we can stop for some food. Ooh, I want to order the food. Can I get four hamburgers with extra pickles, extra tomatoes, and extra sauce? Wait, wait, and extra cheese. My goodness, Royce Bodois loves extra stuff in his hamburger. Grr, they added onions. I didn't ask for onions. Can't they get a simple order, right? Oh no, I don't think Royce Bodois is too happy. Ah! Daddy! You're driving too fast and you made me spill my soda! Are we there yet? How much longer? We're almost there! We're here! We're at Dinosaur Theme Park! Yay! Ooh, this looks fun! Wow! I can't wait to go inside! Look! I see go! Bloop! Uh-oh! What was that? Huh? Something wet fell on my head, but it's not raining. Oh no. Is this what I think it is? Ew, it's bird poop. <laughs> bird poop? Ew, that's gross. <laughs> Everything's going wrong. First, I forgot my dinosaur toy. Then they made my hamburger wrong. Then I spilled soda on myself. And now a bird pooped on me? I hate this road trip. I don't want to go to Dinosaur Theme Park anymore. Well, you can let it ruin your day or you can make the best out of it. How does Royce Bedoys make the best out of it when the whole day is ruined? Royce Bedoys make a smart choice. Uh oh, he's thinking. What is he going to do? I want to make the best out of it. Can we take a picture so I can remember this as a funny moment? <laughs> now that's a good picture. Ha ha ha! Wow, Royce Bedoys did make the best out of it, so he didn't let anything ruin his day. The end. Don't stay up late, Royce Bedoys. Time to turn off the video game and go to sleep, boys. Aw, but we didn't get to beat this level yet. Good night, Royce Bedoys. I'll turn off the light for you, but I'm not tired. I think everyone's asleep. I'll just keep the light off and play a little bit longer. <laughs> this game is so fun. Oh no, Royce Bedoys snuck out when he is supposed to be sleeping. That's not good, Royce Bedoys. Wake up, Royce Bedoys. Time to go to school. Ah, uh, but I'm still sleepy. Are you done brushing your teeth yet? You're late. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at Royce Bedoys. He looks funny and his eyes are closed. Wake up, Royce Bedoys, or else you won't finish your work. Oh no, he is sleeping and dozing off. He should be doing his work. Ow, what happened? Ha <laughs> ha, you fell down while sleeping. Oh no, he almost hurt himself. Recess time! You have to stay back and finish your work, Royce Bedoys. Oh no, now he has to finish his work and can't go to recess and play with his friends. Time to go home! You look like a zombie, Royce Bedoys. 
you didn't finish your work, fell down and almost hurt yourself, and missed recess. If you don't get enough sleep, you're not going to grow. Sleeping's not fun. I can't see anything when my eyes are closed. He looks like a zombie right here. Later that night, this game is so fun. Why are you still up, Roy Spadoids? Go to sleep. A few months later, hi guys, can I play? What happened, Roy Spadoids? Why are you so short? Oh my, look at everyone almost grew a couple inches taller than him. He didn't grow because he doesn't get enough sleep. Can we just play already? No fair! I can't get the ball because you guys are all taller than me. Later that night, time to go to sleep. Good night, Roy Spadoys. But I still want to play my video game. I think everyone's asleep. Now I can play some more video games. <laughs> Wait, uh oh, he's thinking. He didn't finish his work at school. He stayed during recess time, and he wasn't tall enough to reach the ball when they're playing basketball. Royce, Badois, make a smart choice. Oh, he's thinking. I think I'm going to sleep instead, so I can have a lot of energy tomorrow. Good choice, Royce Badois. The end. No stealing, Royce Badois. Snack time. Go to your tables to eat your snack. Yay! I'm going to wash my hands first. I can't wait to eat my snack. This is delicious. Since Wen's not here, I'll try some of hers. Yum yum. Oh no! I don't think that's a good idea, Royce Badois. You should only eat your own snack. Hey, who ate all my snacks? I don't know. Uh oh. Royce Badois lied about it too. That is not good, Royce Badois. Oh look, we got new eraser caps. They're so cool. Ooh, they are cool. Look at that rocket eraser. Time to go home. Line up, kids. Psst, truly, look what I found. Hey, that's not yours, Royce Badois. Whatever's from the classroom stays in the classroom. If you take it without asking, that's stealing. Here's a chocolate bar for you. The one on the table is for your brother. Mmm, so good. I want to try the other one too. No, 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 Royce Badois. You should eat your own chocolate bar. Where's my chocolate bar? Mommy, Royce Badois ate my chocolate bar. <laughs> Stop crying. You cry like a baby. Well, that's because I am a baby. <laughs> Hi, Royce Badois. Want to come over? I got new toys. Sure. I hope you have new toy cars. I love toy cars. Wow, Maker! You have a lot of new toys. My uncle got them for me. This car is my favorite because it's fast and the lights come on. Can I play with that? Of course. Just be careful with it. Uh, I think I have to go home now. It's getting late. Okay, it was fun playing with you. <gasps> Did he just steal the car? Oh no, Royce Badois. That is very wrong. Vroom, vroom. Where did you get that car, Royce Badois? I got it from Maker's house. <gasps> did you ask first? If you didn't, that's stealing, and Maker's probably really sad right now. But he already has a lot of toys. It doesn't matter. You need to do the right thing. Royce Badois, make a smart choice. Oh, he's thinking. What should he do? He already took the car home. Maker, quick, open the door! I have something to tell you. I think he's going to tell him the truth. Let's see. I can't find my car. I look all over the room and made a huge mess trying to find it. This is the worst day of my life. Oh no! Maker is so sad. See, Royce Badois. You made your friend super duper sad. Maker, I took your toy and I'm really sorry. 
Can you still be my friend? Good job, Royce Bedoys. You told the truth. My toy! You shouldn't take things without asking, Royce Bedoys. I can still be your friend, but don't do that again. Aw, that's so nice of Maker. He forgave him. Thanks for forgiving me. You're a good friend. I can help you clean up your room. Okay. That's a good idea. Patch things up by helping Maker clean his room. The end. You're grounded, Royce Bedoys. Haha, <laughs> you can catch me, T-Rex. Your arms are too short. Stop teasing me or I'll bite you. Stop teasing me or I'll bite you. Stop mocking me, Royce Bedoys. Stop mocking me, Royce Bedoys. Oh no, that is not nice, Royce Bedoys. Mommy, Royce Bedoys is mocking me. Mommy, Royce Bedoys is mocking me. Again? Stop it, Royce Bedoys. Stop it, Royce Bedoys. <gasps> Did he just mock his mom too? Oh, he's going to be in deep, deep trouble. That's enough. You need a timeout. Go to the corner. Urgh. I want your timeout right here. I don't want to go to the corner. Oh, he should just listen to his mom. No, Royce Bedoys. Go sit in the corner now. Oh, his mom is mad. Fine, fine, fine! <laughs> Urgh, I hate timeouts. Am I done yet? This is so boring. Ooh, this is so fun. Oh no, he should be timing out. He shouldn't be playing with his toys right now. What are you doing, Royce Bedoys? You're not supposed to play when you're in timeout. Now you have to time out longer. Oh, wow. <laughs> Your teacher's calling me. Hello, Miss H. Royce Bedoy stole an eraser? Oh, I'll take care of it. Bye, Miss H. Uh-oh, I think Royce Bedoy is in trouble. You're grounded, Royce Bedoy. You can't go to Maker's house for a week. Go to your room. Oh, his mom is mad. Uh, uh, but Maker is having a pool party today. There's going to be a water slide, lots of food, and my favorite sprinkled donuts. Can I please go? No, you're grounded. Oh no, he's going to miss this cool pool party. What is he going to do? Royce, Badois, make a smart choice. Oh, he's in his room thinking. What is he going to do? Oh my. I know exactly what to do. Royce Bedoys, you can come out now. I have a letter for you, Mommy. Oh, so he wrote a letter. I'm sorry for mocking you and Lois and for stealing Miss H's eraser. I love you. Aww, I'm glad you apologized. That's a nice letter. Hang on, I have another phone call. Hi, Maker. Yes, Royce Bedoys is here. Royce Bedoys, are you coming? We're all waiting for you. I can't come, Maker. I'm grounded. Ooh, look at his pool party outside. It seems fun. Well, I can bring some sprinkle donuts to you. I know you love sprinkle donuts. Mommy, can Maker bring some sprinkle donuts over? Mm. Yes, Maker can bring sprinkle donuts. Woohoo! I love sprinkled donuts. Me too. Aw, they're happy now. The end. It's Father's Day, Royce Bedoys. Welcome to my house, everybody. Father's Day is in two days, so let's make a card for our dad or our favorite male role model. I'm almost done. Well, that was quick, Royce Bedoys. My daddy's going to love this. Ooh, that is a nice picture of his dad. Good job, Royce Bedoy. Daddy's going to be so happy. Oh no, I think he just dropped the card that he just made for his dad. Uh-oh, this is not good. Lloyd, check out the Father's Day card that I made for Daddy. Oh no, I can't find it. I must have left it at Maker's house. No, he didn't. He dropped it outside. Now I don't have anything to give Daddy for Father's Day. Just give him one of your toys. That's what I'm doing. 
Daddy, I made a card for you for Father's Day, but I lost it. I'm sorry. It's okay, Royce Bedoy. You tried. Uh, oh, what happened to your tie, Daddy? Why is it ripped? Ooh, that tie does not look good on him. It's all ripped. Oh, it's just worn out from all the work I do. Royce Bedoy, make a smart choice. Mr. Wisely, can I rig your leaves for some money? I want to buy something for Father's Day. It's summer, Royce Bedoy, and there are no leaves on the ground. But I'll pay for whatever you can find. I'll do my best. All done, Mr. Wisely. I found four leaves and rigged them for you. <laughs> I'm impressed, Royce Bedoy. Mrs. Kylie needs someone to walk her dog. Maybe you can help. I just finished walking your dog, Mrs. Kindly. They got a good exercise. Thanks, Royce Bedoy. Mr. Master needs a car wash. Maybe you can help. All done washing your car, Mr. Master. Good job, Royce Bedoy. Are you buying candy with the money? I'm buying Daddy a new tie for Father's Day. His is all worn out because he works a lot. Daddy's going to be so happy. Oh, now he has money to buy a tie for his dad. I can't wait to give it to him. Should I give it after dinner? I think I'll give it to him now. Uh oh. Oh no! The tie fell in the dirty puddle. What do I do? Oh, the tie's not gonna look nice on him if it's dirty. What should he do? <laughs> Daddy's going to be so sad. <laughs> Daddy's going to be so sad. Ooh, the tie does look dirty. Daddy, I worked for two days so I could buy a new tie for you for Father's Day, but it fell in the puddle. You must be so sad. I'm sad too. <laughs> <laughs> I can wash the tie, but the thought and work you put into this is a better gift than the tie itself. I'm very happy, Royce Bedoy. Really? Now I'm happy too. Hey, Daddy, you can have my beach ball. Happy Father's Day. Aw, the boys are so sweet. The end. It's the last day of school, Royce Bedoy's. Tomorrow's the last day of school. Don't forget to bring something for the party. I'm bringing super hot potato chips. I'm making orange juice. I'm bringing pizza. I'm going to make the best cupcakes ever in the whole wide world. Mommy, I want to make cupcakes for the class party tomorrow. Great, let's go to the grocery store to get ingredients. Ooh, I want to put mac and cheese on top of the cupcakes. Ew, I don't think that's a good idea, Royce Bedoy's. Then, can I mix in some broccoli to make the cupcakes healthier? No, Royce Bedoy's. Broccoli on cupcakes? I don't know, doesn't sound really good. Can we at least sprinkle some hot dog pieces together with chocolate chips? No, Royce Bedoy's. Why do you want to put weird things in your cupcakes? Because I want to make the best cupcakes ever in the whole wide world, so they have to be unique. Well, they also have to taste good. We'll just get the usual ingredients like icing and sprinkles. That sounds like a boring cupcake! Aww. I'm almost done, Mommy. Can you put the cupcakes in the oven for me? I can't wait. All right, I'm going to put it in the oven now. I'll let you know when it's done. I can't wait. <sighs> What's that smell, Mommy? <gasps> oh my, I forgot to set the timer. Oh no, the tops are burnt. I'm sorry, Royce Bedoy's. Uh-oh, what is he going to do? <laughs> More bad news, I can't find the icing and sprinkles. I think we left them at the store. <laughs> Crying won't fix anything. We need to improvise. 
What's what's improvise? Improvise is using whatever's available to solve a problem. Royce Bedoys make a smart choice. Oh, he's thinking. What can he do to fix the problem? Mommy, can we chop off the burnt top? I have an idea. Oh, really? What is it? It's a surprise. What did you bring, Royce Bedoys? I brought cupcakes. <laughs> that's a funny looking cupcake. Oh no, that's not really nice. You shouldn't make fun of people. That's because I'm not done. I just need a scoop of ice cream and crushed chocolate cookies sprinkled on top. Ta-da! Wow, look at that ice cream cupcake. Here, try it. Wow. Mmm, so good! It's the best cupcake ever in the whole wide world! I'm next! No, I'm next! Wow, Royce Bedoyce, you found another way to make things work. That's really creative! The end. Don't be jealous, Royce Bedoyce! Look guys, I got a scooter for my birthday! Ooh, look at how cool the scooter looks! Wow, that's awesome! You're so lucky, Truly! That's not fair! How come I didn't get a scooter for my birthday? Who cares anyway? I bet I can run faster than your scooter! Why are you so jealous, Royce Bedoys? Can't you just be happy for Truly? Anyway, I'm going to stay for tomorrow. I'm so excited! I love the food and rides there! I hope I can go someday. How come you get to go and I don't? You guys get to have everything and go everywhere. Oh no, he's jealous again. That's not good, Royce Bedoys. Just ask your parents to take you. I did, but they said no. I'm having trouble opening the scooter. Can somebody help? I can help. I'm smart. I bet it's really easy. Hmm, I wonder if he can open it. Urgh. Why is it not opening? Urgh. It won't open. I think it's broken. But it's brand new. Let me try. Take it. But I'm telling you, it's broken. Here you go, Truly. Wow, you made it look easy. You're really smart, Maker. Oh no, look at Royce Bedoy's face. He does not look happy. Urgh, I was just about to open it, but you took it from me. I didn't take it from you. You handed it to me. Fine, you're smarter than me. Are you happy now? You can't always be the best at everything, Royce Bedoy's. Maybe you're good at other things. Aren't you super duper fast? Yeah, I'm the fastest runner. Actually, I'm faster. According to school records, I'm approximately 1.5 seconds faster in a 50-yard dash. Oh no, he doesn't look happy again. Royce Bedoys, make a smart choice. Ooh, Royce Bedoys is thinking. I just thought of something. Just because I'm not the best doesn't mean I'm not good. That's what I said earlier. Also, I don't need to have what you have to be happy. So, you're happy for us now? Yeah, sorry for getting mad at you guys. I'll keep trying my best though. Want to race? Okay. Sure. I'll race you with my scooter. Aw, it's good that Royce Bedoys is happy for other people. The end. Royce Bedoys gets lost. Wow, the State Fair has a lot of cool rides. I want to ride on all of them. Wow, that looks really cool. Which one is he going to ride first? I want to ride on that scary one first. Me too. Ooh, that one looks so scary. I don't know if he can do it. Sorry, kiddo. You're not tall enough to get on this ride. Aww. I guess you have to be a certain height to get onto certain rides. Let's ride on the merry-go-round. Fine. Alright, you're both tall enough. 
awesome. They both can ride on the merry-go-round. Look, Mommy, I'm taller than you. How tight. That was fun. What do we do next? Whoa, uh, that, that was a scary ride. Ooh, look at the funny clown. He's so funny. <laughs> Ooh, he looks funny. Look at his eyes. Wow, look at that giant teddy bear. How do I win that? Wow, look at it. The bear is almost as big as Roy Spadoy's. I think it would be so cool to bring the bear home. All you have to do is knock down all the jars with this ball. That's easy. I don't know, Roy Spadoy's. I don't think it's that easy. Do you think he can do it? Mommy, Daddy, can I have some money to play this? It's really easy. Mommy? Daddy? Lois? Where are you? Uh-oh, where is everyone? Hi there. Your parents went to get ice cream and told me to take you there. Uh-oh, this does not look good. Roy, but Joyce, make a smart choice. Oh, he's thinking, what should he do? I don't go anywhere with strangers. Help! Good job, Roy Spadoyce. You don't ever talk to a stranger. Stranger danger. What's wrong, darling? Where are your parents? I don't know where they are. <laughs> Good job, Roy Spadoyce. You only talk to a guard or a police officer. Let's go back to where you last saw them and I'll call back up. There you are, Roy Spadoyce. Where did you go? Yeah, where did you go? I want to see the clown and the giant teddy bear and I got lost. Don't ever walk away again. Always stay by our side, understand? Yeah, understand? I'm sorry, I won't ever walk away again. What's that grumbling noise? That's my stomach grumbling. I'm hungry. Oh my. Lois is hungry. Okay, let's get some food. What do you want? I want a big turkey leg. I want bacon ice cream. Whoa! This turkey leg is humongous. Mmm, tastes like bacon. Whoa, look at that turkey leg. It's bigger than his head. That is too funny. The end. Respect people's opinions, Roy Spadoys. Ew, what are you doing, Truly? Wow, they're having a nice picnic. The food looks good. Why does Roy Spadoys eat you? I'm eating fries with barbecue sauce. What's the matter? That's just gross. You're supposed to use ketchup. Why, why can't I use barbecue sauce? It's delicious. Try it. Yeah, Roy Spadoys, you should try it. No way! That's gross! You should only use ketchup for fries! Really, Wynn? You like purple ice pops? Red ones taste way better. No, I think purple ones taste better. What? You're totally wrong! Nobody in this whole wide world thinks purple tastes better. I do. Like I said, you're wrong. R-O-N-G. Wrong. Look at his face. <laughs> Maker. Oh my gosh. Why are you wearing those ugly shoes? What happened to your other shoes? Oh no, Roy Spadoys. It's not nice to say it's ugly. I think my new shoes are cool, not ugly. Oh no, Maker. They're seriously ugly. I'd rather not wear shoes at all than wear your shoes. Well, I'd rather wear my shoes than yours. Your shoes are plain. My shoes are not plain. They're stylish. Well, I think your style is plain. That's just your opinion. I like my style a lot. Good for you, and I like my shoes a lot. Royce Badois, make a smart choice. Oh, he's thinking. What is he going to say now? <laughs> Good for you two. We should respect each other's opinions. That's right, Roy Spadoys. Wow, those are cool shoes, Maker. Your shoes are plain, Roy Spadoys. Uh-oh. 
Lois is not being too nice. <laughs> it's okay to have different opinions. Good job, Royce Bedoyce. Different people have different opinions, and no one is right or wrong. I'm so proud of you, Royce Bedoyce. The end. Don't be a picky eater, Royce Bedoyce. Time to go to lunch, Maker. Aw, but we're not done hanging out. Can Royce Bedoyce join us? Okay, I'll ask his mom. Hi, Mrs. Bedoyce. Can Royce Bedoyce join us for lunch? Sure, but he's a very picky eater. Have you ever had dim sum, Royce Bedoyce? What's dim sum? Oh, it's really cool. Servers push carts around and you get to pick whatever you want. I can't wait. Can we get the fry shrimp balls, please? That's my favorite. <laughs> that doesn't look good. I'll pass. You haven't even taken a bite. It's just shrimp. Try it. Fry shrimp balls are weird. What's next? Pizza balls? Taco balls? No thanks. What are those funny looking wrinkly things? Hmm, do you think Royce Bedoyce is going to try that? These are called dumplings and they're really good with soy sauce and chili oil. They look worse than the shrimp balls. I'm not eating that. No way. I'm hungry. Is there any regular food? Can I have that bread? Mmm. This is delicious. What is it? That's barbecue pork bun. See, you have to take a bite to know if it's good or not. Royce Bedoyce, make a smart choice. Oh, he's thinking. What is he going to say? Okay, let me try the dumplings. Mmm. Yummy. Oh, he's starting to try things. Wow, the fry shrimp balls are really good too. That's my favorite. Here's the fried fish you ordered. I want you to try that too. <clears throat> this one isn't very good. No thank you. Mm, at least you tried it. Ready to try something else? I want to try everything. Can I try that jiggly yellow mushy stuff? <laughs> That's mango pudding, my second favorite. Mmm, I love it! Good job, Royce Bedoyce. Always try it before you say no. The end. Don't gossip, Royce Bedoyce. Guess what, Maker? Did you know this about Wen? What about Wen? I think Wen is poor because she wears the same clothes every day. Really? If she always wears the same clothes, maybe she doesn't shower. Aha! Uh -huh. That explains why there was a weird smell in class that day. Actually, that was me. I farted that day, but we're not talking about me, okay? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I have to tell Truly about when. Hello, Truly? You won't believe what I found out. Tell me, tell me! Wen is poor and wears the same clothes every day. That's why she smells. Oh no, that's not good. Spreading rumors. Oh, so that's why she eats weird food? She can't afford good food. The next day. Can I play jumpo with you guys? I can be on Truly's team. Uh, what? We already have enough people. Sorry, Wen. Oh no, that is not good. Let's play somewhere else so we can't smell her. I don't smell anything, but okay. Let's go play over there. You know what, guys? Even if she's poor, that doesn't mean she's a bad person. But truly, do you want to play with someone who smells and eats weird food? We don't even know if these things are true about her. It's wrong to say bad things about people. Hello, I can hear you guys. You're not that far from me. I shower often, so I don't smell. Also, you eat different food than I do, but I don't have a problem with it. Hmm, she does have a good point. She did nothing wrong, Royce Bedoyce. She's still the same when. Royce Bedoyce, make a smart choice. Oh, he's thinking. 
What is he going to do? Or what is he going to say to her? You guys are right. It's okay to be different. You can play with us when... Aww, that's a smart choice, Royce Padois. Ew, what's that smell? Oops, <laughs> I farted. <gasps> so the smell came from you all along, not me. Oh my goodness, that is too funny. He farted. Ew. The end. Forgive people, Royce Padois. Surprise! Guess what I bought for you, Royce Padois. Oh, 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 what is it, what is it? A construction truck. Try to keep it clean, okay? Awesome! I'm going to show it to Maker. Maker, do you want to see my new toy truck? Yeah, let's play in my backyard. Cool! It can carry dirt around. Oh no, look at Royce Bedoy's face. He's not too happy. Give it back to me! I'm taking it home! Oh my, Royce Bedoy is mad. Why is he so mad? Royce Bedoy's, someone on the phone wants to speak with you. Hey, Royce Bedoy's, can I come over to play? I don't want to play with you. Bye! Uh-oh. Royce Bedoy's is so angry. But why is he so angry at him? Did I do something wrong? Hmm, what did Maker do? Want to come to my house later? We can play with my new truck. Your truck doesn't look very new. It looks dirty. We can bring our little ponies. Hi, everyone. Hi, Maker. Hi, Royce Padois. I'm going somewhere else. Uh-oh. I think Royce Padois is still mad at Maker. But why? What did you do, Maker? Why is he mad at you? I don't know. Are you going to Royce Bedoy's house later? Hmm, I wasn't invited. Hey, Royce Bedoy's, why are you mad at Maker? Oh, I'm glad his friends asked. He put dirt on my new truck and made it dirty. Oh, is that why he's mad? Did you ask why he made your new truck dirty? You should ask him why before getting mad. Fine, I'll ask him. Why did you make my new truck dirty, Maker? Uh, I thought that's how the truck works. I'm sorry. I can help clean it. No, that's not how I play with it. You're still not invited to my house. Oh no, he's still mad. Royce Bedoy's, you should know Maker wouldn't hurt you on purpose. Yeah, you should forgive him. Royce Bedoy's, make a smart choice. Oh, he's thinking. Is he going to forgive him? Hmm. Hmm. You guys are right. Maker, you're a good friend. Would you like to come over to my house? Sure, I'll bring my car. We'll bring our ponies. I'm glad we're still friends, Maker. Me too. Good job, Royce Bedoy's. You forgave Maker and didn't lose a good friend. The end. Royce Bedoy's and the Tooth Fairy. Check this out, Lois. I got a loose tooth. Hmm, do you think tooth fairies are real? Of course they're real. What kind of question is that? How do you know? Have you seen one? No, but everyone knows they're real. Mommy, mommy, I have a loose tooth. Do you think the tooth fairy is real? Why don't you put your tooth under the pillow and find out? If the tooth fairy is real, she'll collect your tooth and give you money for it. Show me which tooth is loose. This one. Oh, wait, where is it? Oh no, it must have fallen off. Lois, have you seen my tooth? Did you take it? Ugh. Why would I take your tooth? I already have one, see? Never mind, I found it. I'm going to put it under my pillow right now. Royce Bedoy's is so excited. I wonder if the Tooth Fairy is going to come tonight. The very next morning. What? The Tooth Fairy didn't take my tooth and there's no money. Mommy, the Tooth Fairy didn't show up last night. Look, the Tooth Fairy left money under my pillow. Oops. <laughs> the Tooth Fairy must have made a mistake. Give me my money, Lois. It's mine. No, it's not. It was under my pillow, so it's mine. 
<laughs> oh, it's not fair! I was the one who lost a tooth! Instead of crying, why don't you think of a solution, Royce Bedoyce? Royce Bedoyce, make a smart choice. Oh, he's thinking. How is he going to solve this problem? I'm going to write a letter to the Tooth Fairy and tell her she made a mistake. Dear Tooth Fairy, you went to the wrong room last night and gave money to Lois instead of me. My room is the cooler one. Love, Royce Bedoyce. The next morning, rise and shine. I hope the Tooth Fairy got my letter. Let me check under the pillow. Cool, cool, I got two dollars. And there's fairy glitter everywhere. The Tooth Fairy is real. Hmm. Do you think the Tooth Fairy is real? Let me know in the comments below. The end. Royce Bedoyce loves video games. Daddy, Daddy, can you buy me this cool video game called Blockcraft? Everybody's playing it. Sure, since you've been helping around the house. This is the funnest game in the whole wide world. I can play this forever. Lunchtime, come and eat. I can't come, Mommy. I need to beat this level first. You've been playing all morning. Turn it off now. Yeah, turn it off now. <sighs> but, Mommy, if I turn it off now, I'll have to start all over. That's enough. Hurry and eat because Lois wants to go to the park. Yay, the park. Come on, Royce Bedoyce. You love playing on the seesaw. How come you're not playing with me? Ugh, I just want to go home and play video games. Oh no, it seems like Royce Bedoyce only thinks about video games. One month later. Yes, I'm finally at the last level. You got a phone call, Royce Bedoyce. Oh, why did you hand me the phone, Mommy? You messed up my game. Ugh. Hello, who is this? Make it quick. It's me, Maker. Come out and play. We haven't seen you for a month. No thanks. I want to stay home and play my game. I'm on the last level. Go be with your friends, Royce Bedoyce. You need to play and get some exercise. Fine. Whoa, what happened to you, Royce Bedoyce? You blew up! Do you sit all day playing video games? No, I walk to the bathroom sometimes. Anyway, I'm bored, so I'm going home to play my game. All you think about is your game. It's like you're not even here. Your mind is always somewhere else. Uh, huh? Did you say something? Royce Bedoyce! See, you're not even listening right now. Royce Bedoyce. Make a smart choice. Oh my gosh, you're right. I'm losing my friends and getting fat. I have to limit my game time. Tag, you're it. Hey, I wasn't ready. Good job, Royce Bedoyce, for controlling yourself by limiting your game time. The end. Stop misbehaving at the movies, Royce Bedoyce. Daddy, can you take us to watch the new funny movie? Sure, but your friends need to ask their parents first. They already did, Daddy. That's why I'm asking you. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Ew, what's that smell? Oh my gosh, whose stinky foot is this? What? I'm just relaxing my foot. What's wrong with that? Oh no, I don't think anyone wants stinky feet next to them. Um, you're making our popcorn smell like foot. Can you put it away? Popcorn smells like foot. <laughs> That's too funny. Fine, but for your information, my foot smells like cotton candy. Ooh, ooh, ooh the movie's starting. Oh, I heard this is the part where he accidentally eats a bug. This part is so funny. He's going to step on poop. Haha, <laughs> poop. Can you stop telling us what's going to happen? I want to watch the movie, not hear it from you, Royce Bedoyce. Uh-oh, seems like Royce Bedoyce is spoiling the movie. Yeah, you're spoiling the movie for 
for us, Rice Badoys? Fine, I know what's going to happen next, but I'm not telling. See, Rice Badoys, you're too loud. Stop talking and watch the movie. Ah, Rice Badoys, your phone is too bright. It's distracting me. But I think my mom is trying to reach me. Doesn't matter. You're supposed to turn your phone off in the movies. Royce Badois, make a smart choice. Oh, he's thinking. What should he do? Should he just ignore the phone call? But what if it's important? Uh oh. Mr. Chan, can you come out with me? My mom is trying to reach me, and it could be important. Of course. Oh, that is smart, Royce Badois. You go outside to use the phone. Hello, mommy. Oh, okay. Bye. Is everything okay, Royce Badois? Yeah, my mommy accidentally called me. Okay, let's go back inside. Yeah, but this time I'm going to turn off my phone and stop spoiling the movie. Good job, Royce Badois. Now you know how to be considerate of others in the movie theater. The end. Stop bragging, Royce Badois. Royce, can you read what's on this box? Yeah, it says Royce Badois has stinky farts. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> you can't read it. I can read so fast. Watch. Whole grains are healthy for your heart. And Lois has stinky diapers. Haha, <laughs> 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 I read better than you. Mommy! <laughs> oh no, he should not put down Lois. Hey guys, my mom got me a new backpack for school and I want to show it to you guys. I have a new backpack too. Me too. Let's meet up at my house. Check out my new backpack. It has two pockets and a cool ice cream keychain. Oh yeah? Mine has three pockets, two keychains, and watch this. Turn off the light maker. <gasps> it glows in the dark. Wow. That is a cool backpack. See when my backpack is much better than yours. Oh no, Royce Badois should not put down people. Let's play with my toys. Check on my car. It lights up. Oh yeah, check on my car. Ooh, look at his cool car. It can transform into a robot. It's way better than your car, Maker. Uh-oh, he's doing it again. Can you guys go home? I'm tired. Uh-oh, he doesn't seem too happy. Why are you so tired? He's tired because you've been bragging the whole day. I'm tired of it too. Not everything's a competition, Royce Badois. Royce Badois, make a smart choice. Oh, he's thinking. What is he going to say? Maker, I really like that your car can light up. How about we share toys? That's a good idea. Okay, I'm not tired anymore. You guys can stay. <laughs> Guys, check out my new backpack. It can glow in the dark, has eight pockets, four keychains, and wheels. Ah. Ooh, I like your backpack's color, Wen. Your keychains are cool, Royce Badois. Thanks, not everything's a competition. Let's play something. Good job, Royce Badois, for not bragging and putting people down anymore. The end.